some of you may know this teaching as my favorite parable in the Hasidic tradition. So a proclamation goes out. Do you want to really know the truth? Its treasure is hidden in the king's palace. Come find it. The yearning for the king's royal treasure brings two people to the palace gate. So where can I find the treasure? Asked the first of the guards who were standing in the massive doorway. Oh, just enter and start looking, calls back the guard. Ah, don't even bother, says a bedraggled middle-aged woman, <laughs> crossing back over the gateway. I went in, I found nobody and nothing, and I didn't even find the directions to tell me how to get to the treasure. Don't waste your time. Hearing this, the first person turned on his heels, thinking, well, I'll never get the treasure anyway. Let them all search for nothing. It's not worth my time. The second person watches her companion disappear and then turns and walks up the gateway and through the doors into the palace. <clears throat> room after room, she investigates. Over how many days, weeks, years, how many lifetimes? Beautiful aromas waft from one room. Gorgeous colors attract her attention in another. Song after song filled rooms to her right and to her left. Laughter, tears spilling out of doorways on the second floor, the third floor. And the books calling to her, offering questions and arguments in moments of beautiful silence that filled her mind and her heart and touched her soul. Some folks waiting outside the palace wondered at her absence. Others waiting felt her presence each time they gazed at the palace entryway. So, did she find the treasure? I can't tell you. But I do know two things. The one who walked away found no treasure. The one who entered, she found delight after delight in all she saw, all she learned, loved, knew, and realized she would never know. <laughs> I came to the palace of Congregation Bethel. more than 25 years ago, searching for treasures unnamed. Even before I stepped through the doors, I found my family waiting to accompany me along the path. And I thank you, God, for each and every one of them. As I stepped through the always open doors, I heard melodies and harmonies, songs, laughter, loving arguments, children's shouts spilling toward me. Each and every one of you invited me in and has invited me into every room, every single day of those more than 25 years. You offered me and continue to offer me treasure upon treasure. Mm -hmm. Treasures from rabbis, educators, and staff who have filled rooms with light and encouragement. Students of Torah calling forth from every space. Kids ready to dance and chant via hafta. Friends, friends, friends wanting hugs and ready to receive all of my, I don't really know, with open hearts. You taught me and teach me that the truth we yearn for and search for is in every conversation. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> every harmonic minor, every staff meeting, <laughs> that was pretty good. Every person of any age who comes up to Torah, every room at Beth El, that we shine upon each other with light. You walk with me, and you let me walk with you. And we find as we dance through these days together that the treasures are all along the path. They are limitless in all truth. I am grateful to you for the life of delightful searching you have given me. Because of all of you, I grow, and I learn, and I cry, and I laugh. And I change always for the good. People come into this life 
bringing something we must learn, and we are led to those who help us most to grow, if we let them, and we help them in return. Bringing something we must learn. So much of me is made of what I learned from you. You'll be with me like a handprint on my heart. And now, whatever way our stories end, I know you have rewritten mine by being my friend. Like a ship. Oh.